You ready? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. We are in Garden Grove, California. You can see the beads of sweat dropping down my forehead. It is hot. It is the beginning of August. And what way to enter hot boy summer than to put some hot boy wheels on here, you know what I'm saying? Stop the roads while I'm in traffic so you can see what I do that's not wrapped in plastic. Kansai Wheels here is in Garden Grove. Beautiful home of me, not home of me, but I live in LA. Garden Grove is just a hop, skip, and a jump away. They know that I have these pink wheels on my car. They don't look that good with this color, so they told me to come down here and maybe get something I might like. I, if I don't like the color I get today, I can powder coat them. Shout out to Saul. You better not mess my crap up or I'm going to jack you up. So let's go in here and catch up with them and see what we can do about some wheels for the whips. Alright everybody, this is my good friend Chris Sempak. He runs and would you say owns Kansai Wheels? I wouldn't say owns, I'd say man brand manager, okay. creative influence, wheel designer, wheel engineer, nice. uh, and making sure everything goes right here. So so how did you come up with Kansai? Man, it was sort of a passion project. Uh, I've been working at a wheel company for about five years before I came up with the design that, uh, not, not necessarily a design, a wheel brand that was more passionate to myself and my self-interest, utilizing their uh, backing and their factories. So presented a bunch of ideas to our parent company and uh, was very passionate about the automotive scene and the uh, where these wheels would end up. And uh, knowing guys like yourself and knowing that there was a little bit of a hole in the market for like a throwback type of brand that was performance orientated. And um, yeah, that was back in 2018. And here we are, 2020. Two SEMAs under our belt. There won't be a third. Unfortunately, unfortunately. But we have a lot of fun at those things. But we just want to be the uh, wheel by the people for the people. Nice. Long story short, I met Chris back at SEMA two, uh, 2018. Yeah. Actually, 2018, we yeah. talked. He said uh, we'd be interested in the talking to you. Long story. Uh, keep it short. I told him I had some ideas that other wheel brands weren't willing to work with me with. They took a big opportunity on me, and I took a big opportunity on them. Yeah, we were new, so... We appreciate that. Almost two years later two now. Two years later now. Look where we're at. Forward. Look at us now, right? Yeah, right? Look at us. So I remember when I first, the first wheel I caught my eye was the Tandem. Absolutely. R34 wheel. Right here. Totally, yeah. A lot of people say it looks like something else, but this is a concave wheel, 10 and a half, very aggressive fitments for New what they are. New construction. Oh, what's different about uh, these? Flow formed. You All know, right. a lot of the old wheels that we love so much mm -hmm. were made kind of in an old school way, but this is all modern construction with a flow form barrel on everything one piece, reinforced back lips for dirt drops, et cetera, camber wear. And yeah, big brake clearances, pocketed uh, back pads, fun caps we're doing. Um, I noticed you got the teal now. Yeah, we got the teal. Is that just painted with the face of this wheel? That's a, that's a two piece forge painted. Okay. But yes, this is the first, first wheel that I think really helped get us on the map as far as like, okay, this is the JDM inspired brand. This, these guys are going for core S chassis guys. Everyone loves the R34 wheel, and so do we. Oh my gosh. I, mean, the, I love the R34. And it's come and gone over various years, but oh my gosh, we had to bring it back and do it better. I mean, we're seeing Scions with this wheel now, we're seeing BMWs. It's just really cool to see where it kind of ended I've up. I've seen a you know? Prius with these. A so Prius, far. even, yeah. Maybe I'll get one for my Prius. I'm so. ready to see an old school Camaro on something. And that's what's part of the fun we can have with this brand and wheels like this is like, you know, bring it back with a, a new way and really everyone gets excited about it. It's, it's a fun thing, but um, absolutely one of our favorite wheels here. I notice here, I see a six hole wheel pattern. Yes, yeah, so you guys are actually the first crew to come in and see our new, new release right here of the Off-Road Series awesome. from Conse. So what, uh, for this one, I'm sure you've tested it and all the things to pass for those off-road guys. Yeah. So What is the difference, I say, in the making of this and this? Compare, I'm sure the quality is always gonna be the same, yeah. but what is the big difference for the kids in the YouTube world that don't know? So the big difference is uh, we like to take everything we learned from building badass drift wheels that are strong and light and offer big brake clearances. We wanna apply all the same stuff to our truck wheels. Cause we know a lot of guys, like myself, you know, maybe they had a rear wheel drive, I had an IS300, you know, 
that was fun sliding around. But you, as you get a little older, you get into different things. You're like, I got a Forerunner, I got a Tacoma. You know, I, I want to have fun with those. I want to mod those out too. I got a Suburban. Yeah, now. we all grow up. Yeah, there's a crossover there. You need a daily, you, or you want to hit the dirt because it just looks so fun. You know, there's no rules out there. Here on the street, we've got speed limits, we got traffic signs, other traffic. But as you know, we live in California, and you can one hour and you're out having fun in a wide open range so the desert's right up yeah. the street pretty and, much yeah and we noticed that a lot of our core customer base had that crossover like hey i got a i got a truck i want something that i can go play in the dirt with so everything we learned about our cool one piece uh car wheels we took it right to the truck wheels so big brake clearances all flow formed also reinforced inner lip and um you can use your stock uh, tire TPMS. A lot of the newer Tacomas and trucks need a TPMS sensor. That's totally fine. We can accept those. And we're also doing just really cool stuff with the caps. We have like a red gel cap insert even for this wheel. So I think it's a really fresh take that uh, a lot of our scene can identify with when they go into the truck side of things. Nice, nice. So with the, with the two-piece wheel, how is that made? Or can you, is there anything you can show? Or is that made here? Absolutely, yeah. So we'll take a step right over here. We have a couple samples of some of our favorite designs in the two-piece line. Uh, this has been a fan favorite recently on social. And these are our two-piece most premium line of products. Now these are intended for wide body, custom, sometimes show car, sometimes track car applications that are above and beyond what you can get from a one-piece wheel. And when I say above and beyond, I just mean the flexibility of offset and bolt pattern and design, concavity. It's a one-off tailored experience where we will walk you through. It's, we don't just press a button and these come out. We will sit you down. We will fill out your brake clearance templates with you. We will work on you know measurements from the fenders to the inside of the wheel well. We will pick out colors. We will go through finishes. Um, and what's really, really unique about this product line is, yes, it's all made in-house, 100% made in-house here. We get the hoop from our U.S. supplier in Indiana, specialty rim supply. We get the center from our U.S. supplier in Oxnard, California, and we cut them out all right here in-house in, in our, you know, 100 feet from my desk. So, uh, and I do all the, the design and engineering and specifications on these, so it's really a personal experience that it might not be for everybody, but for the guys that know and appreciate and want something completely unique, one-off, highly customized, we can do it. Nice. We can do it. Like R35 GTR might not work on an 18-inch one-piece wheel. We can do it on this. You got a rocket bunny something crazy. That's what the two-piece is for. Like I said, different price bracket for sure, but we got to remember this goes through, you know, a $100,000 machine. You got, I got eight guys back there working on this. There's a line, you know, it's hand assembled, it's welded. Uh, a lot of specialized tools are involved. I mean, the drill bits alone that we cut the stuff out with is 100, 100 to $200 a piece. Jesus Christ, are That's more than some people, say. yeah, some have diamond inserts on. So uh, there's a reason, guys. It's, it's, it's a highly specialized product, but we just know that some people out there really appreciate and go for this, and it's a nice option for us to have, you know? Shoot, man. Is there any any future plans or future projects you got coming that, that you could share? Absolutely. So we already kind of briefly touched on the truck wheels. Those will be here in three weeks, guys. So late August 2020, if you're watching this in the future, they'll already be out. You can grab them. But yeah, the truck wheels was the newest, latest, greatest thing for us. They're launching soon. And then we have 19s coming in December. So a lot kids. of guys screaming. We want 19s. Yeah. We want we 19s. We know. And we know. We know, guys. We, we were listening for that. So... Took us a little while to figure out the fitments we really wanted to nail and the brake clearances too, because you know we kept hearing like, well, what about the Euro guys? Like the the BM M3 guys might like this too. Like, well, let's, let's make sure we get that caliper in there. You know, what about the new Supra guys? Mm. They love 19s. Well, let's get try and get that offset in there, and let's try to make it at least look concave and have a little bit of lift, because you know a lot of people really get fixated on the wheels, facial features, concavity lip and all that and that's a lot of fun don't get me wrong but here at Conte, you know we're always thinking about big breaks we're always thinking about performance so we always try and get the most concavity and the most lift we can but still being able to clear a lot of the big brimbos a lot of the big stop tech kits it's uh, a lot goes into the consideration of the wheels looks as well as what they can clear and how it can work on the field nice so was car wheels as far as the 19s or anything 
the One Piece wheels? Are there any new styles coming or is that just some top secret? That's kind of top secret okay. now, but I've been thinking about the guys that need a higher offset wheel. Mm. You know, we specialize, look at this, this is like super insane concave right here. But you know, we have a lot of guys, a lot of friends out there with maybe a newer Lexus or a newer Mustang or something. They can't rock a plus 12, you know? And so maybe like a plus 35 could be in the works on a wide wheel. As you've probably seen, the Corvette is now falling into the yeah. drift ranks. C5, C6 are affordable now. Yeah. So you see, you figure C5 starts at five grand. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like the new 350Z. It, it'll last a lot longer. It doesn't. It sound will. Like and you already got the LS swap, so it's a lot of fun. So a lot of those guys have kind of come to us. We've done a few on tandems already. I mean, how cool is it to see a vet on R34 looking wheels? It's I like, like it. It's, I like it's it. kind of a cool twist on it. So. We think maybe this would look really good in like a little bit of a tweaked offset, like a higher offset for the narrow body Corvette guys, because you know, there's the Z06 body and the Grand Sport body, which are wide. Then the narrow body, it's, it's tough to find a wheel that really fits their build, you know? And I think a lot of the guys that we know that are picking up Corvettes or maybe want that JDM type of essence in there. And I think it's really kind of counterculturally cool to like throw something like this on there. You're making me want to vet now. Yeah, right? They're fun. You see, every day I see another person that you or I follow that's picking up a vet or, or at least giving it a try. I know? mean, there's nothing wrong with trying something. No, right? no. Well, shoot, I guess from here, we're just going to go look at some wheels or maybe I'm going to take some time to see what I might like on this we wall. We love Gary's thoughts on everything. So I, I really want this, but... We uh, know. I, yeah. I want to, but the but the COVID, I didn't get the COVID check unfortunately, but I'm gonna have to work hard and do some overtime and maybe get this. We'll never, you never know, you may never know. We're in a warehouse. <laughs> So we're here in the machine shop now. They got the, is that a CNC machine? That is a CNC machine. We have four of them. Five if you include the lathe that we just got over there. But this is where the two piece wheels get made every single day. Uh, we crank them out. This is one of our KMPs. This is a sample we were kind of doing, but yeah, we have some awesome brand new US made machines right here. Uh, we got the SS model, super speed. So we can go up to 15,000 RPM amazing surface finishes um yeah it's definitely sort of an old school meets new school type of thing and we just love cranking out wheels right here you can have a set of wheels on your car when you go home from work that fast you can wake up with a new idea you can come in here you can program it on a computer cut them out about a you know 45 minutes per wheel all said and done bolt pattern and everything faster if you want really want to push it and then you can get them polished up welded over there on your car by that night. It's literally pretty fast. rapid manufacturing. It's so, so cool to see an idea come to life right here, right outside our showroom. It's very, very fun. Well, shoot, man. It looks like from the looks of this machine, I, would, I couldn't tell if you're building Terminators <laughs> or top quality wheels, but yeah. uh, we really do appreciate you letting us in and showing us all of this. Uh, we'll be working with him a lot more. Well, we work, it's been almost two years it, now. It's been a lot of fun. We got a long way to go. I think we got some really cool ideas in the works. And I can't wait for y'all to see these cool ideas. The whole purpose of this is to show people of the culture that there's real people out there. Like, yeah. I see you at the shows. Yeah. I see you at all the drift events. If it's cold, it's raining. Windy, Or is it yeah. just hot as hell. Horse thief, all of them. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen <laughs> you at all of them. It's great because a, a lot of people don't do that anymore. No, no. There's no interaction. There's no people to let you know there's real people making wheels out of Absolutely. Here. Like, if something messes up, I'm sure somebody could call you. Give me a call. Shoot us a DM on social, you know? There you go. And we care. Right here. Yes. 
we're right here. We're in Southern California, and uh, we want to be plugged in. We're the, we're the guys. We're car guys too. So uh, whatever we can do to help the scene. Nice. How's the Viper, by the way? It's very fun. I got some coilovers from it. Thank you, BC. Shout out BC Racing. Yeah. They just uh, sponsored me as well. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Great guys over there. And uh, I'm gonna build some wheels right here for it. And then it'll be more fun to drive. It's kind of a boat. I mean, um, it's kind of a boat, but I'm gonna have a little bit more fun with it once I get it dialed in. So uh, I was gonna bring it here today. We could have had a Gran Turismo thing. You with the R34, me with the Viper. We'll do, we'll do a Gran Turismo shoot, I think. I'm, I'm down. Y'all yeah. yeah, stay yeah. tuned for that. Once I get my wheels on. I don't even have, I'm on stock wheels. What, Shame. what kind of guy am I? Shame. <laughs> Are you, uh, is it a GTS? It is a GTS, blue and white, cut to the footage. Well, I'm just kidding, you probably don't have footage. What but, you mean? <laughs> maybe what? a photo. You know? Why you gotta hurt my feelings? No, no, you gotta hit me in the edit, you know. We but, got you, um, we got you. But yeah, but uh, my daily is a forerunner. Just for throwing the wheels in the back, going to Grange on that crazy dirt road. Well, we got for a ABS now. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Apple Valley Speedway. Great folks over there. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with the Viper, and then the uh, my forerunner is getting the Kansai off-road wheels. So. Nice, nice. There we go. Well, shoot, man. We will see you not only later to pick up my wheels, but also on Sunday for our drift That's right. event. You gotta be there. So get through. Stay tuned. We got some hot stuff coming. didn't turn the mics on. Good job, Rance. Good job, tell him good job. Doesn't matter what you say, Rance. But he doubted that these were gonna fit in here. As if I didn't know my own car. As if I was a sucker, like this was my first rodeo. But guess what? This bull has been tamed. And Rance, you kinda lame, but thank you, Chris. We appreciate Absolutely, you. Absolutely, Gary. Thank you for coming by, being a friend of the brand for so long. And we got a lot of cool stuff in the works. We got so some more. Ready. We got some more projects coming. We, I told him. I done told him. Maybe a drift car. Maybe maybe some type of VTEC type of thing going on. You know what I'm saying, kids? Just, just if you act good, if you act right, comment below. Comment say we acting right. We deserve stuff. You know what I'm saying? There's a demerit system now. I'm counting the negatives versus the positives, and it's a lot of positive out there. It, it, and it will be so, uh, more and more. I think people are ready for positive. I appreciate the love. We appreciate the love. Absolutely. Y'all have a blessed day. Don't eat glue. And all that funny colored liquids under the sink, don't drink those, please. And have a great night, day, or morning. Mm -hmm.